Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today we are going to do a reading for Scorpio for December 2024. Um, though, you know, I feel time is fluid. A reading will find you. This one is meant to, or you'll find it. Um, and that's just trusting in divine timing. Uh, this is going to be for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, those intuitively guided um, you could certainly be in love with the Scorpio. I know I have a lot of Scorpio love in my life, not romantically, but platonically. My daughter, um, who is a Scorpio on October 29th, and my brother, who is Scorpio November 6th. Um, I guess I could throw my ex-husband in there who was on the 31st, or who is on the 31st, um, I don't know why, other than that's Jen's dad, my daughter's dad. Um, but anyway, Scorpio, um, there's a couple things I want to talk about before we get into the cards. Uh, first of all, I feel like November was really about more about relationships for you. And I feel December is going to be more about money. Um, I feel like money is going to be... Um, highlighted for you so you may have an easier time making money in december um you may have opportunities that come out of the blue that give you the opportunity to make more money you know even like side hustles i feel all of that being pretty lucrative for the month of december so that's good news um uh, because not everyone is gonna have that luck <laughs> when it relates to their money um and, of course, the cards will tell us more, but I read through my spirit guides, so really our spirit guides will tell us more. Um, I do want to let you know, um, I put a little video out yesterday. Um, I do holiday gift certificates, just so you know. Um, you know, if I already have quite a few people who buy their loved ones, like a reading every Christmas or every, you know, or in their birthday, something like that. Um and what I do with that, just so you know, is I can either send them, um, you know, that that gift certificate video, but I don't know if you want the, the price on there. So I'll leave that up to you, or you can just let them know. And then um, the way I normally do it is I, well, I ask you, like, do you prefer for me to wait for your loved one's questions. Um, but as soon as you pay for their reading, I put them in my book. So they're already scheduled. Uh, it's just whenever they're ready. And there is no expiration date. Like, they don't have to use it by the end of December. Um, though, I prefer they didn't use it year for years from now either. Uh, but really, there's no expiration date. Um, yeah, so I have that going on. I have that always going on. You know, for birthdays, I have um, some who give every year. Um, one gives their girlfriend a birthday reading. I have quite a few who give their mom's birthday readings. I have quite a few who give their mom's readings um, in the holidays or on the holidays, too. So I definitely just want to let you know that that's available. Okay. Scorpio. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. Um, so we're going to use a few different decks. We're going to use Mother Mary for her words of wisdom, as always. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot to go deeper. I brought out the Romance Angels in case love comes in the picture. And we are going to use the Major Arcanas again. I use these for like bullet points. Many of you are familiar with them now. Um, and I love using them in a reading. I feel like, I feel like they give us a great jumping off point. Um, and they can also be their own message, you know, but then they will relate back to your reading. I'm telling you, I just love them. I don't know why I don't do it more often, to be honest. And for your main spread, the Universal Tarot jumped out to me. So not normally a deck that I pull for you. Um. But it's actually, I was going to use a different deck, and then something's like, no, use the Universal Tarot, so that's what I'm going to use. Still drinking my coffee, by the way. 
and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so let's go ahead and open up this reading to the tarot portion. I feel like we open it the minute I hit start. Some people are like, your intro is too long. I don't know how I can make it any shorter without giving you a clue of what I'm doing. <laughs> so, Mother Mary, for my beautiful Scorpios. Well, that didn't take long at all. Open your heart. Open your heart. I allow myself to feel the full range of emotions, especially all forms of love. Mother Mary wants you to open your heart. There's got to be a reason for that. Um, and allowing yourself to feel whatever emotions you're feeling. But it doesn't feel like there's anything to fear here. Um, because I'm not sure why Mother Mary would tell you um, to allow yourself to feel like all forms of love. To me, that means, even though I feel like November, we are doing your reading in November, by the way, so maybe we are still talking a little bit about relationships. So open your heart. Okay, let's bring the lid down. Not too, too much. And let's go ahead and bring in the Gilded Tarot. The star didn't want to come up. Mm. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. Hopefully it's about manifesting them. It's really what the star is. It's, it's, it is about your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. But it's about manifesting them into your physical world. Let's give them a cut. Not a lot of cards to cut. <clears throat> Let me grab a drink. Let's begin. Um, I do want to remind you, because I read through well, it's really my spirit guides, but I feel like it's our spirit guides because uh, my spirit guides connect to yours. Definitely feel free to ask your guides to give you signs of confirmation. You know, is this reading for me? You'll feel it. That's number one is I feel you'll feel it. But you can certainly, you know, ask for like certain numbers to be said or words. Look, it made its way back out, the star, right next to the moon. Could be something happening around the full moon for you. We have, hello, Wheel. Destiny. And by the way, the person in the star's energy is looking right over at the wheel. Some of you may be saying, I'm not even 100% sure what it is I want on this wheel. But I know that I want something. I want some type of change. We have the Hierophant. Heart of Taurus, which is your opposite sign. And then we have the Hangman. All right, so let me slide these all over a little bit. A pause in the action. But who's pausing the action? Because right in the middle of this is the wheel. And there's someone getting ready to spin that wheel. You know, it's interesting. She's got a blindfold on. It often reminds me of like blind faith. Like I'm just going to spin the wheel and I'm going to trust Especially because it is speaking of your destiny. I'm just going to trust wherever it lands and that's where I'm going to follow. The Hierophant is about your belief system. You know, it is a number five. So 
Um, I'm trying to use numerology more and more in the readings, but five is definitely about change. And anytime I, an, an energy of change comes up, I feel like first we want to take the opportunity to look at what is it that needs changed. So in the Hierophant's energy, it may just ask you to, you know, check your own belief system. Are you living life according to your morals? Um, do you feel good, you know, with who you are? Um, I do feel like the Hierophant is blessing this hangman. So it's almost like, you know, instinctively knowing when to move. But the hangman mirroring the moon, it can certainly represent like, uncertainties and these uncertainties could make me feel a little leery of spinning the wheel but nonetheless she's spinning the wheel remember the moon can also be very dreamy type energy um this could be a dream with the star right there it could be a dream that's about to become your reality And listen, maybe something wasn't in divine timing. It just wasn't time for something. But now, because the wheel's spinning, getting ready to spin, I feel like now it's divine timing for something. So I may have had to wait for something to come about, but now it feels like the right time. Remember, the hangman is seeking wisdom spiritual wisdom but to use on this earthly plane and the hierophant's looking right over at the, at the hangman so to me you know it's it's um a very spiritual type energy and it is your opposite sign and i don't know how often i say in a scorpio reading like um, maybe because I've read for a lot of Scorpios who are with Tarses, um, I feel like the two of you can get along really, really well. I guess if I'm going to read Tarses energy, I should also say that the moon is a card of Pisces, ruler of Cancer, and then the star is a card of Aquarius. But I'm really looking at the... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm looking at the energy versus the sign. If that makes sense. All right. What the? Okay. Three of them didn't want to come up, or maybe more than three, five of them. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we'll talk about these once I have them laid out. Look at the Pentacles. Holy cow. Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you that this is a good time for your money. Matter of fact, I should put them right under each card. So the Ten of Pentacles being right under the wheel. The two of wands. And then, hello, knight of cups. Unexpected cup of fulfillment or love. Under the hangman. So it just may not have been time to fall in love for some of you. There may have been things that you're still learning, like about yourself. Some of you, I feel like um, you may have even put love on pause while you were working on your finances. I mean, look at the abundance that's showing already. So the Page of Pentacles um, certainly can be a younger energy, a younger earth sign. Um, but Page of Pentacles really is about a learning path. Like you're on this learning journey. Um I feel like there may be some life path aids here because life path eight is all about your material world and no apologies for it. It's really here what you're it's what you're here to accomplish. Um 
And then we move into the Seven of Pentacles, which to me is like your tree of life. It means that certain seeds, I feel like, have already been planted. And this is another energy that speaks of patience. But the patience is so that something can become ripe, ripe for the picking. Um, it's under the star. And I often feel in the Seven of Pentacles, some of these seeds were already planted. Well, they've all been planted. Um, but some of them could have been planted before I even came into this lifetime. Others were planted in this lifetime. But this is about one of them, or maybe more, coming to fruition now. It does feel like it's the right time. Number seven, by the way, very spiritual time. Some of you, I feel like you're just going to be surprised. And it may help you, like, within your spirituality. It's like, wow, I was talking to my guides about, you know, this or that. And then, lo and behold, look what shows up in my life. I feel like some of you are on this learning experience. Um, but it is truly so that you can have real abundance in your life. You know, in the Ten of Pentacles, it's like, you can take care of you. You can take care of your family. It doesn't always mean like, oh, I'm rich. But you feel abundant. It's like, I have what I need. Um, I have what I need. And then, interesting, we have the Two of Wands. It's almost like taking care of my money over here. But then the two of wands is talking about another path. So remember, you can be on more than one path at the same time. And what I mean by that is one may be about your money and one may be about love. But it feels like the hangman is kind of like held up this night of cups. Um, well, I feel there's a reason for that. And I feel like the reason is because what you're doing in the world, like how you make your money um, or even just making money is important to you. You know, maybe you're feeling that more than ever. And um, so you put that as your first goal. And it doesn't even have to mean that I like, like that's the way I planned it. But it seems like that's the way it's just turned out. I feel like, you know, like, I feel like I've done a lot of readings for you lately. And I do feel like in each reading, we're seeing a little bit more like increase in your finances. And now we're actually at the Ten of Pentacles. And even if you are doing something that, you know, maybe I feel like oh, I don't know everything I, I feel like I need to know. I feel like the Page of Pentacles has you covered because you'll learn as you go. You'll learn as you go. All right, let's keep going. Grab another drink. I don't like cold coffee, so. All right. Already it's not hot any longer. All right. We have the Ace of Swords under the Page of Pentacles and under the Moon. Hmm. We have the Eight of Swords under the Star and the Seven of Pentacles. Like you're not believing it. There's something you're not believing. Yeah. You know, that Eight of Swords is a self-created prison. Something you don't want to face. Mm, five of Wands. Someone else's drama. Like, I don't want to be part of other people's drama. I feel like you probably were part of other people's drama. And now, you know, some of you are seeking your way out of it. 
you know, like maybe you've connected with certain people who seem to be drama filled, could be friends, um, could be, you know, someone that you loved, but yet again, in the five of wands, it does feel like it's, you know, all about me, but I don't mean you, I mean someone else. Um, but it could just be the energy that you just feel like you've been surrounded by. Again, a lot of drama. Um, in the five of wands, I feel like, and it's a five, so it does want change. And I feel like the best way to handle this, right, if this is talking about other people's drama, is just to disconnect myself from it. You know, don't hide from it. Don't. Um, and, and I even feel like maybe uttering those words of like, I just don't want pulled into this drama. I just want to make my money. I just want to live happily. Yet, I do feel like there's a little bit of a block on what you feel can manifest in your life. But I feel like it's just what you feel. It doesn't feel like the truth. It, you know, some of you may have lived a hard life and it's like, you know, now you're telling me that some of my dreams are going to start coming true, Sandy. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, but I also want to say that I also feel like it's important that you believe that. It's more important that you believe that than me. Um, and if you have other people around you Again, who just, again, they're drama-filled, um, maybe fight with you. Uh, maybe there's, like, something you're doing in the world, and, like, how you make your money. And I don't know. I just get this feeling like like someone is working against you. Um, and really, the only thing I can do is just not allow myself to get pulled into it. I also feel in the Five of Pentacles that sometimes I got to be willing to understand that not everyone's going to apologize for their actions. Some people don't even realize it. You know, some people are just more than happy living in a lower vibrational energy and their drama, they feel, it, maybe it's exciting to them, but it's not to you. It's not to you. And, you know, Scorpio, you're just one of those signs. And one of the reasons why is because you're so comfortable with all types of people. You know, you're just as comfortable with, like, someone who's homeless as you are with, like, the President of the United States. You know, like, you don't see that one is better than the other. And that's, that's a beautiful part about you. But why was I telling you that? Um, I was telling you that because I could see people seeking you out to help them. You know, I could see, like, I feel like there may be a situation where um, maybe more than one person comes to you and they want you to settle something. Um, and I feel like you can. But I feel like you're going to be brutally honest at the same time. Um, and maybe you worry about that, like, you know, don't come to me for advice and then not listen to it. You know what I mean? Like, don't waste my time. Some of you have really been gaining or learning the value of your voice. And what I mean by that is a few different things. I could definitely see some of you where your voice or even the tone of your voice feels comforting. Maybe even to strangers. There's something about you that just makes you feel safe to others. But I feel like for someone or maybe even more than one person, you feel somewhat like a threat. Why? Well, they probably wish they could be more like you. They probably wish people came to them for advice, but they don't. 
they go to you. And I get this feeling like, you know, I'm going to give you the truth the way I see it. But I'm only going to do it one time. Like, you accept it or you don't accept it. You know, like, I don't feel like you're pushing anything down someone's throat. Here's, here's the truth the way that I see it. You can accept it or you cannot. <clears throat> there could be some fights going on about money. Or, you know, I'm saying fights, but let's just say drama. Even though I feel like this is going to be a very abundant month for you. And by the way, I feel like this is just the beginning. You know, like when you do a monthly reading, that's the thing. It's like you can't say everything is going to happen in the month of December. But I feel like this really what my readings are showing you what's opening up. Because the Ten of Pentacles can be for the rest of your life. This Knight of Cups, who we don't know who it is yet, may be for the rest of your life. But it may just be starting. Especially with the two. Like the Hierophant asking you, you know, are you living life according to your morals, your standards? And you're like, hmm, I'm not sure that I am. I'm not sure that I am. But I'm going to start. And that's what the Two of Wands is doing. I'm going to start. I'm going to take a step onto this path. You know, it's a very passionate path. It's action-oriented. Um, very clear, you'll be guided. All you need to do is move forward. There you are, Queen of Cups, mirroring the Hierophant. She's got her back to this drama. I'm glad. She's looking towards the future. She is holding this cup in front of her. We do have the Knight of Cups who's also holding a cup. It definitely feels like you're disconnecting from the drama. You know, even if this is, let's say, family or people you work with and, you know, I can't quit my job. So the best thing I can do is just state the fact that I am not interested in in joining in your drama, you know, or, you know, you may not use those terms. Just like, I just want to come to work, do my work, and go home. So it's interesting that the Knight of Cups has been kind of held up by the hangman. But now we have the Two of Wands that's moving right in to the Knight of Cups energy. And, you know, what follows that? The Ace of Swords. Well, that could be communication. Um, and if it's coming through the Ace of Swords, it would be truth. It would be integrity. Though I do want to remind you, for some of you, I feel like it's you finding your own voice. And what I mean by that is, like, I'm being true to me. I'm saying my piece. You know, instead of holding it in, I'm going to let it out. But I'm, but, you know, again, not in a drama way. Um, Just, I'm going to tell you my truth. You can accept it or you cannot. I, I don't know why I'm getting this feeling about you, Scorpio. It's like, I feel like you're saying that a lot. Like, you can accept it or you cannot. Nine of Swords, under that Knight of Cups. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. 
with that Knight of Cups. Well, let me tell you the first thing that could be going on here with the Queen of Pentacles, um, because that would be an Earth sign. But I do feel like it's you. First of all, she's my psychic detective. So she trusts her intuition. But because she's coming here for the Nine of Swords, I feel like this could be overthinking something. You know, like, am I overthinking? Um, to the point where maybe I don't, I never make a decision about something. Trust your intuition. You know, the meaning of the Nine of Swords is unnecessary worry. That is the meaning. Like, you know, and if you have worry, then that worry is stemming from, let's just say, a past, maybe lesson, a past situation. You know, if I haven't had it easy in love, well, then it could be scary. But here's Mother Mary telling you to open your heart. We have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Two pentacles underneath that. That could be some type of communication that's coming your way. You know, sometimes a page can mean what's what's in the atmosphere. Um, it could also be a younger um, air sign, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then we have this page, which could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but I'm not. I'm really not reading them in that way. No, I'm not going to leave it off the table because I'm, I just realized we have the Page of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. You can talk about evolving. I feel like some of you are going to do so well in your money. Um, and I want to be careful when I say this because, listen, we're moving into the holiday time and that can be very stressful. You know, it's funny, Sam and I were just talking about that yesterday and I said, you know, half the people are excited about Christmas and those are the ones who can afford to go out and buy presents and then half are, are anxious you know what I mean? Like, ah, uh, especially if you have children. Now, you know, I know it's not about the presence, but how a child that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and, and, you know, I'm not even telling you what to do here, but I do get this feeling of, well, that it's important for you to think about your money, your career, and be open to potential opportunities that may show. You know, it could be like a job promotion that comes out of the blue. And you may say or think to yourself, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I'm if I'm qualified, but you are. And I don't mean like you have a degree. Maybe you do, but it's not about that. I feel like what this is really saying is, you know, whatever opportunity comes your way, whatever you think you don't know, you will learn as you go. And it feels like that's the way it was meant to be anyway. You know, like if someone's giving you a promotion, I don't feel like they expect you to know everything. You're going to learn this new position. But I feel you're qualified. So because I feel that, I feel who's ever giving this opportunity 
also would feel that about you. All right, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. Let's go deeper. Money, 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 money. Money. Oh. Hello, Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck also. We'll see if it makes its way out, though it doesn't even have to. It's already out. What a mess. This is the Virgo in me, where I like my cards nice and neat. I, I don't know why. I just feel like it tells a better story than if it was all chaotic. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start at the beginning. But read it as a whole. The Hierophant flipped itself around. Taurus again. Um... Interesting because it's coming over the moon where, you know, the moonlight only lets us see as far as the moonlight allows us to see. Where the sun really is the illuminator. So I feel like this is saying trust. Trust in the unexpected. Trust that you can manifest let go of exactly what it must look like. You know, I feel like that's why she's wearing a blindfold, getting ready to spill that, uh, spin that wheel. Blind faith. And trusting in that. Because ultimately, it results in the Ten of Pentacles. So. But we do have double Taurus on the board. We have beautiful, the six of wands. This is victory. This is victory and success. You know, in the six of wands energy, I often feel this is where other people are really looking up to you. You know, again, some of you are receiving your promotion. It's like management, you know, where other people need to look up to you. But that's exactly what they're doing. They are looking up to you. And this is because of action steps that you've taken. And it results in victory for you. Remember I said earlier where I felt like other people seek you out um, for your wisdom? But I feel like at the same time, it's like, I feel like you're saying, but I don't have time to play head games. You can listen or you cannot listen. Um, coming over the star and the seven of pentacles. I feel like you just need to trust yourself. Again, something may open up that you just may not, you may feel or you may say to yourself, I don't know if I'm qualified. I don't know if I'll be good at this, but you will be. Um, because, I mean, literally, it's it's giving you success. And it coming over the Seven of Pentacles, I do feel like that's your, your tree of life. I do feel like... Um, your soul is saying, I'm ready. I'm ready for this new adventure. And the Eight of Swords, which is mirroring it, is more of an earthly, human-type energy. And that's where we create walls, barriers. Um, you know, sometimes it's to protect ourselves. It can certainly be 
you know, um, I, honestly, I feel like what it's just saying to you is to trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust that whatever's being offered to you, that you can really soar. We have the two of pentacles. Well, that puts us a ball in your court. We have the queen of wands, the queen of action. I do feel like this is you. And then we have the strength card. Card of Leo. Um, interesting though, because it's coming over the night of cups. And even though I feel like financially, things are only going to get better and better for you. I feel like as it relates to love, it's a different story. Now, it doesn't mean that love, because this Knight of Cups is coming in, you know, holding a cup. And then the Queen of Cups is holding that cup. So I know the night comes in. I know you receive it. And I know that you're now holding that up. But the strength card coming over that and the hangman. You know, this the strength card is really an inner journey. It's realizing, you know, first and foremost, like our past experiences and what it has taught me. And who I am today because of that. It's an energy to be proud of. Nine of Swords right below that. I feel like that's where the fear comes in. Strength card is really about your power. You know, what it, what it represents is the things in your life that may have been difficult, that may have been soul lessons. And... It, you know, it's an inner journey. Our spirituality is an inner journey that we just so happen to share with the world. Those of us who choose to. And some of you, it's just naturally, it's just a natural energy with you. You know, I feel like it may say that I do have to have a little courage here. All right, well, let's keep going. <clears throat> By the way, the Queen of Wands over the Two of Wands, that's perfect. Because the Queen of Wands is someone who moves according to her passions, her desires. And I do feel like this is you also. Um, it just may be a, a part of you that you need to bring out. You know, because, again, she's she's more than willing. Like, she's ready for the next adventure. And then we go back one card. We have the two of pentacles. Um, that is coming over the wheel, but also coming over that ten of, or the ten of pentacles. So the two of pentacles is like that juggler card. Some of you, it could be an opportunity that, that, that adds to what you're already doing. So they could talk about more work. Um, but again, I feel even more work. I still feel happy in it. Um, I feel like the two pentacles, though, is about using your logical mind. You know, as, as energy starts to move towards you, as whatever the wheel brings, um, look at it simply as, is this something that will enhance my life, or is this something that's going to deplete the hard work that I've already put in, that I've already put in, putting in. Putting in the Ritz. Putting in the Ritz. That'd be so funny if one of you had your spirit guides have me say the word Ritz.
We have the Five of Swords. Interesting, we have two fives. And then we have the Hangman over the Eight of Swords. Well, that kind of makes sense. The Hangman over here. And now the Hangman directly over the Eight of Swords. The Hangman mirroring the Nine of Swords. But the Hangman's also mirroring the Star. You know, if you go back one card, we go into the Five of Swords. And that can certainly talk about toxic type energy. Um, I, I'm just getting this little message of being careful not to repeat um, rumors. You know what I mean? Like, don't repeat things that you don't even know are true or not. Again, I feel like if I do, then I am getting pulled into other people's drama. So I want to be careful there. Um, I also feel like this is talking about previous love, where there probably was some type of toxicity. Um, I would definitely say there are different vibrations. You know, like one person was of a lower vibration, and... Um, I feel like you're just naturally spiritually gifted. So I feel like automatically you come into the world with a higher vibration. And and it can just even go further and further and further. It feels like really what this is asking for you is to trust. Trust within yourself. Trust within what you have learned. You know... Trust that you are meant to have the spotlight on you. The victory should be yours. And that you can create this victory. But. That's why the hangman keeps coming out. Because it's coming out over worry. Now the nine of swords is unnecessary worry. The Eight of Swords is a self-created prison. It truly is where I'm blocking other things. Now, I get it. Because some of you could have certainly said, you know, I want to work on me. I want to work on my money. I want to work on my home. Um, you know, I want I want to create abundance for me and my family. Um, and I'm not even thinking about love. The love is thinking about you. I also want to say, I feel like when you speak, if you speak the truth, and other people give you resistance because of that, oh well. Oh, well, because I feel like there is a need for you to come from honesty. Especially for those who ask you for your opinion or your help. I do feel like, you know, you come from a place of honesty and not all are going to accept that. But then you just need to accept that. Like I tried. We have the King of Wands. Well, interesting because we have the Queen of Wands right there. That this king is coming over the Five of Wands. Hmm. We'll see why. We have the Knight of Swords over the Queen, over you. This knight is coming into the reading. So, you know, it could be like communication that comes out of the blue. Six of Cups. Okay, well, this could be someone that you already know. 
This and by the way, this would be not this wouldn't be someone who's caused you nothing but headaches. It'd be quite the opposite. Um, if I was to think about this person, I would think happy thoughts. You know, they would it would bring a smile to my face. Um, and again, I feel like all this is really unexpected. So some of you could be hearing from someone, let's just say from your childhood. You know, it's connected directly to the Knight of Cups. So we know in some way, um, I don't know, I just get a feeling that you already know who this person is. Though, as I say that, I still feel like it's unexpected. It's like, you know, um, like I feel this a lot lately where people are on their social media and let's say I was in a relationship and that relationship ended. Um, then I put single, you know, on my status and there could be someone who is like, oh, Scorpio is single. I might just reach out. I might just reach out and just say, hey, just thinking about you. And that could open up something quite beautiful. Beautiful butterflies around them. Little kitty cat. You know, it feels very blessed. It feels very um, playful. Now, it doesn't have to mean that you were in a loving relationship or a romantic, I should say. Um, and it can also relate to past lives. You know what? I think that's what your last reading was about. Um, and it wasn't November's. It was just a special reading I did for you. And past lives came out. So I could definitely see that being here also. But you would recognize that. Like you would recognize that feeling pretty quickly you know, of a past life, because that means you're soul connected. You're soul connected for eternity, um, but it's soul recognition. So whether I know this person or I don't know this person, to me, it must be a soulmate. I mean, I don't know why I just said that, but that must be the case since I just said it. Um, okay, we have judgment. This is your spiritual team. And they are calling you to the present moment. They are calling you to the present moment. Why? Because this is where I send your signs. This is where I guide you in the present moment. Through feelings, songs, all kinds of signs. Interesting, all of a sudden I, I just thought of like a song. And I thought, well, I have a feeling this person, it may be one of their favorite songs also. I didn't have a, like a particular song in mind, but I was just thinking like, oh, there's just like you may hear this song on the radio and it may remind you of someone. And that just may be who this is talking about. So judgment's calling you to the present moment. Um, judgment really talks about a rebirth in your life. And I know one of the, one of them. I don't want to say a rebirth in your money because <clears throat> I don't feel like I'm changing anything. I just feel like you're ascending. Your money is ascending. Um, opportunities are ascending. You know, like there's a lot that wants to reach you. But listen, you deserve all of this because this isn't about miracles. This is about the work that you put in. This is about. You know, like, again, let's say the five of wands is your work. This is about not getting pulled into these people's dramas. You know what I mean? Like, I have bigger and better things I want in my life. I don't want, I don't want this energy. I 
Cut it out at the root. Wow. Hello, marriage card. Um, this is mirroring the star. Coming under the hangman, which is over the eight of swords, but it's coming next to your spiritual team. So your earthly being could definitely fear this, but not your spiritual being. This is about true commitment. And why I, you know, this is my favorite love card. And the reason why is because this is about true commitment. And this is about true love. It can be about blended families. Um, but listen, if we're blending families, I'm going to love your children like I love my own and vice versa. I mean, you know. I don't know if I'll love your children exactly as much as I love mine, but I'll love them. Um, this is about true commitment. And everyone here wants to be here. I don't have to guess. There's no mind games being played. It's very clear. Well, it's clear. Yet. Coming over the Eight of Swords, it doesn't mean there's not fear. I have a feeling some of you are just like, oh man, I don't even know if I can handle love right now. You know, I got a lot on my plate. I haven't had it so lucky in love. I don't know if I'm ready for that. It, it doesn't stop it. You know what I mean? Especially because the wheel is here. It doesn't stop the wheel from turning. It just puts the ball in your court. Oh, it felt like there was another card underneath there. Six of Swords. Coming over that five of wands. That's exactly what I was talking about. By the way, we have the five of swords right there. That's toxicity. And some of you, that's what you're learning. You're learning how to rise above other people's drama. You're, you're learning that if it doesn't matter in my life, don't bring it to my life. You know what I mean? Um... I feel like you're really just becoming the true you. And I feel like the one last thing you need to think about, well, if you will, is love. And how you really do deserve love. Now, if you're not ready for it, or you don't want it, then just say no. You know, if you'd rather just like really continue to focus on your pentacles, then you can say no. It's not going to stop it from coming in. Because it is part of your destiny. And not only does the will tell me that, but so does the seven of pentacles. And so does judgment. So, this is a great energy to get right now because this really is leaving the toxicity behind. This is, this is someone saying, I want better. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to live within this toxic energy. I don't want to live within other people's toxicity, other people's drama. And this feels like it's moving you right out of it. You know, I don't feel like judgment, who, again, is your spiritual team, would come out into the reading 
especially bringing the Four of Wands with it. I mean, hello, beautiful love. Hello, commitment. I don't feel like they'd bring this energy out if you can't be successful in it. If it can't be all that it's meant to be. Now, listen, this is real life. And sometimes we may not feel ready. But then it come, then love comes towards us and changes our mind. And again, I feel like I got to go back to Mother Mary again, where she's saying, open your heart. All right, let's take what's face up first. We have the Nine of Wands. Oh, got a lot of cards. Look what's showing up again. The Knight of Cups. So, literally, when I said it's coming in, willing or not, here it is. And by the way, mirroring judgment, your spiritual team. I feel like there's two ways I can look at this. Let's put money aside for a second because I feel like I feel like your money is just going to grow. And it's because of you. But it's also um it feels like blessings, like a spiritual blessing, but it's because you deserve it. You know, the 9 of wands being here does talk about reflecting back. But it's reflecting over how you have grown, who you are today. You know, in the Knight of Wands, I call this person my spirit warrior because they've gained so many spiritual muscles from the lessons that they've learned. They're not looking at life like, woe is me. Instead, they're saying, okay, what did that teach me? What did, what did I have the opportunity to learn that, you know, learn from? I feel it's very clear also, Scorpio, that, again, I feel like this love's coming in whether you want it or not. Um, and you, again, you get to say yay or nay. But what was I going to say? I I think the only thing is don't compare it to love that you've already had. Because this feels of a much higher vibration. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. I feel like that is, uh, here he is right here. Two Swords. And then the High Priestess, your intuition. Look at that. It's like here I am trying to make a decision. Two swords, fearful. But listen, the, the eight of swords has come has come down to the two of swords. That means that you broke yourself free from you know thoughts that were limiting to you. Doesn't mean the fear is completely gone, but again, it's down to a two. And the high priestess is also a two. So I feel like there's two ways I can go here. I can trust my intuition, which with judgment right here, I feel is going to be very clear. Or I cannot. Or I cannot. I think I just want to take a couple cards right in this area. And when I say this area, what I'm looking at is 
judgment, your spiritual team mirroring the Knight of Cups, that unexpected cup of love. Um, what's in between these two cups or these two knights to six of cups? So if nothing else, this this is the type of love that should bring out that inner child within you. It feels very playful, joyful. And passionate. And passionate. Knight of Wands can be fast-moving energy. And that can feel a little chaotic. Like, whoa, slow down, you move too fast. But I feel like in the Knight of Wands, it's hard to deny what I'm feeling in that energy. Because I feel like, you know, your heart had to been stirred or has to be stirred when this comes towards you. I don't know how it couldn't be. And yes, that can even add to the fear. And when I say add to the fear, I don't mean it as like this is something you should be fearful of. Just, you know, I feel it's like, am I ready to give my heart again? Am I ready to take that chance? <laughs> what if it doesn't work out? But what if it does? What if it does? What if all those relationships you've been in were really there to teach you, to get you ready for this type of love? Justice. Carta Libra. Um, you know, justice is about learning to use the sword of justice to cut ties to, you know, energy, people, things that are just leave, that leave us unbalanced. This is you searching for balance again. You know, when justice shows up in a reading, it really is about making you whole again. And, you know, you may have felt unbalanced for a while. I feel like that has to do more within your love life than your financial life because your financial life just looks good. Um, and, you know, it doesn't always mean like when I use that sword, uh, let's say it's my family. Or, again, people I work with. You know, I can't, like, literally sever those ties because I have to work with them. Or I have to live with them. But what I can do is say that I'm no longer willing to live an unbalanced life. So, I'm just not going to get pulled into drama. I'm, You know, I I'll give you my advice once. And you either take it or you leave it. I don't know why. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be coming to you for advice. Okay. Wow. We have the three of cups. Joy. Celebration. There's that ace of swords again. The ten of wands. Seven of Cups, the Magician, the Manifester, Le Will, and then the Devil, Card of Capricorn. You know, I feel like for some of you, you've been carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. And it may just feel like it's become too much. I feel like there's a need to, I don't know if you have to say this, but at least expect that everybody pull their own weight. You know what I mean? Like if there's someone in your life where they're not pulling their own weight, 
and maybe you've been helping or what have you, but yet you keep getting the same results. I feel like then that may be their lesson to learn. You know what I mean? Like don't take on other people's lessons. You can't fix everyone. Again, probably why I keep saying like, I'll give you my advice once you either listen or you don't. Um, but I feel like this is also the realization that you yourself can have a tendency to put, you know, a lot of the responsibilities on your shoulders. It's almost like saying, you know, no one can do something as well as I can. So I might as well just do it myself, where really it's about learning that fine art of delegation, you know. Like, I can't do it all. But I have to know that. Interesting, we have the wheel with the wheel right there. And the magician right beside the wheel. The star right beside the wheel. This is where I really want some wishes and dreams to come true well now we have the magician right by the wheel so i feel like now this is the ability to really manifest you know the type of life that i really had hoped for myself you know the devil can cast illusions and because the devil is mirroring the seven of cups that can make it even harder to make a decision, right? It's like, ah, uh, and I feel like I have to break, th I have to break through these illusions. You know, I feel like your intuition is the secret here. Trust your intuition. Now, I feel like there's nothing you need to fear, but because we do have elements of fear here, that's why I feel like trusting your intuition because your spiritual team is here. They're here to help guide you. That is their job. And that's exactly what they're doing. They even told you that this night of cops, this unexpected cop, can result in true commitment. Maybe even marriage. I say maybe marriage. I mean, it literally is called the marriage card. But I say maybe marriage because not everyone wants to get married. You know, or it's like, I just want to be with someone, but maybe we don't want to get married. Um, but for some of you, it's like literally, you may find yourself next year married. Okay, I want to pick this up. So we have a lot. And let's bring out the romance angels. And actually, what I want to do is I want to pick some of this up. I'm going to leave some of it on the table. Uh, Sorry. All right. And what I want to do is I want to look. Well, this is how it came. Actually, this came after. So it came like this. So let's take this, and what I'm looking at is now we have two Knights of Cups. 
um, I'm looking at the marriage card and your spiritual team. <clears throat> I have it pointing up to the wheel, which is your destiny. And I just want to take a few cards over this. Let's give them one more shuffle. One more shuffle. All right. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, passion. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon, passion. worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Well, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Worth waiting for. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hello, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Worth waiting for. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. It just means you're not willing to hang on to resentment. Um, you know, it doesn't mean I need to pick up the phone and be like, oh, I forgive you. I'm just forgiving within my heart. You know, I've had to do this in my life. And I know it's not easy, but once you do, it's like you don't carry that weight with you any longer. I feel like even the fear just kind of goes away. Judgment. Your spiritual team who brought out the marriage card. Who's now telling us this is a soulmate. I kind of already knew that, especially with two Knights of Cups. I kind of feel like this is you responding now in a loving way. Doesn't mean you're moving quickly. But it does feel like, um, well, it's a soulmate. And it's telling us it's worth, it was worth the wait. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Divine timing. You know, that hangman, that's divine timing. You know, when I decide that it's time for movement, the hangman's really seeking spiritual wisdom to use on this physical plane. I feel like the hierophant is blessing whatever choices you decide. But my God, Scorpio. Like, I don't know, I feel for some of you, let's, let's just put it this way. I feel like 2025 will find you in a committed relationship. And I do feel the love. Now, will it move to marriage? I feel like the answer is yes. 
Um, but let's not forget that we have free will. So using our free will along the way, sometimes that's when we're going to trust in divine more than ever because some of the free will was of worry. But remember that nine of swords, that's unnecessary worry. You know, I always say the ball will be put in your court. But there are some things that happen in life that are just undeniable that they are connected to divine. This is one of those areas like your love life. Listen, divine is involved in your whole life. But right now, I feel like divine is stepping forward, talking about your love life. So, you know. It can happen very soon. It literally is saying that. Literally is saying that this was worth waiting for. It is literally telling us that this is soulmate energy. That the romance will probably be off the chart. And the more optimistic you can be. Because remember, we're feeding this love on a daily basis. Just like we do our money in all areas of our life. Right, We're planting those seeds. And that really is what's going to determine our future. So if I'm planting optimistic seeds, then it's going to bring me things to be optimistic about. You know, that's kind of like the law of attraction. But talking about attraction, hello. And I don't, I don't even mean like the way that you look. I mean, on a soul level, there's a soul attraction. You can't deny. You can, but it'd be very hard to deny this. But you can. Your spiritual team hopes you don't. That's for sure. And I feel like, again, you know, how will I know? Because it's going to feel different. It's going to feel right. Now, you could certainly then second guess it. And I feel like that's why the Queen of Pentacles came over the Nine of Swords. You know, because I'm thinking Earth sign. What's one of their characteristics? Overthinking. Overthinking. You know, I feel like, listen, it would serve me just to forgive my old lovers, you know, the ones that didn't work out. And again, I am not telling you to pick up a phone. I'm just saying, don't carry that energy with you any longer. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes things don't work out because we're actually being saved. So, okay, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, You know, to wrap this up, number one is talking about your money and increases in your money and opportunity finding you. Um, And the only thing I felt around that was, you know, the only the only fear I found around that is you may not think that you're qualified, but you are. And it is the energy of learning as you go. You know, play the part. What's that saying? Uh, Fake it till you make it. But I don't feel like you need to fake it. But if you feel like you do, I know I've done that. I know I've gotten jobs that I thought like, whoa, I don't think I'm qualified for this. But then you start working and you realize, okay, I am qualified. But anyways, and then it moves into love. And not just any love. The type of love that has such great potential of really lasting the rest of this lifetime. And by the way, as soulmates, you're always connected. You probably have loved before in different lifetimes. When you leave this life, your soulmate will be there. You know, it's not 
I just know you in this lifetime. No, you're soul connected for eternity. And I feel like these soulmates, especially when I think back to that seven of pentacles where it is me planting seeds. Well, sometimes some of those seeds were planted before we came into this lifetime. And I feel that often about soulmates. Again, that willingness to spin the wheel, even if it's blind faith, but then faith is right next to it. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Wow. Um, I have to tell you, your readings are always exciting. They always, um, you know, when I do a reading, it's like I'm watching a movie. I'm watching the movie of Scorpio. And um, that's really how I see it. It's like your life story in front of me. Um, but I feel like that's how your guides want me to see it. But, man, the story of Scorpio. You know, it's not an easy one. Um, but, you know, not only do I feel like this love was worth the wait, I feel like everything. All right. So I'm going to let that be. Um, again, I want to remind you um, of the gift certificates that <clears throat> that you can purchase. Well, you can purchase for yourself, but also for, you know, a loved one, if you so choose. Um, and you can email me if you have any questions about that. Uh, but you can look like right below the video, um, all videos, but like you can look right below this video and it will give you all the information that you need. Um and then you can let me know if it's for a loved one. You can let me know if you like want me to take the value off um, or leave it on. You know, completely up to you. You tell me what you want. And I'm more than happy to help in any way I can. Um, and as soon as you purchase theirs, I put their I put their name in my book right away. Um, so. What that means is when they're ready, because uh, you can leave it up to them, like it, whether they want to send me questions um, or, you know, maybe you know enough where you already know, like what kind of clarity they're seeking. So however you want to do it, I'm fine with that. Um, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you for uh, already the comments I know you're going to leave. Um, because the comment section, I feel like is a great place to help others heal. You know, if we've been there, done that, and we've overcome certain things, then we can certainly help others who are still in that place of what do I do? What do I do? Um, so I thank you for that. Truly. I thank you. Um, I feel like we are all one big soul family, which means we're all spiritually connected which means that we can help heal each other. Uh, so thank you. Um, thank you for your donations. Um, you know, as a Tarot reader, I have to tell you, you know, it's very hard to say on YouTube because they pay us next to nothing. Um, and, you know, a Tarot reader, at least on this table, like you're lucky to get a donation like or one out of like every five readings or something. Um, and I'm not asking for a donation if you can't afford it. Um, I just want to thank you for those who are giving me donations. So much gratitude. Um, I want to thank you also for sharing the video with your social um, network platforms. Did I say that right? You know, that only helps me grow and much gratitude for that. But also, I love it when you share it with someone that you feel like, ah, I know who this reading is for. And then you share it. I thank you for that. Um, I just thank you for being you. And I thank you for allowing me to be me. Um, happy holiday holidays, guys. I, you know, my prayer for you is that. All this beauty finds you 
and you are open to it. That is what Mother Mary is asking. Just be open. I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.